In the last episode, my friends, we went ahead and survived a nether fortress with only half a heart of health in Minecraft Hardcore. The question today, though, is this. Can we make ourselves a whole bunch of farms, do a bunch of base work, and survive the 1.19 update in general with only half a heart of health in Minecraft Hardcore? There's only one way to find out. So welcome back here to another episode of Minecraft Half-Hearted Hardcore. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful support in the last episode, my friends, with the rather scary Nether Fortress exploring. If you guys missed that episode, you might want to go ahead and check it out because we did a lot of awesome stuff in there. I was scared half to death for most of the episode and uh, yeah, hopefully you find it entertaining. My suffering. <laughs> but today, my friends, in comparison, it's actually going to be a fairly chill episode because I want to do some base work and I want to go ahead and make a whole bunch of rudimentary animal farms. That is right. I mean, down here, we already have a little bit of a chicken pen, which which doesn't have any chickens in it, so we need to make that a bit of a goal for today's episode. But additionally, I'd also like to make myself some uh, pens for cows, sheep, and pigs. Because then we'd have a supply of wool, and feathers, and leather, and all that kind of beautiful stuff, you know? So yeah, as you can see, we are in the 1.19 update, as near as darn it. It does say release candidate 1, but that's only because I'm having to pre-record these episodes, because at the time of this video actually going out, I will be on vacation. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode nonetheless. When it comes to release candidates, it literally is the 1.19 update, just there might be a very, very minor bug here and there. So it's in terms of features, it is literally the exact same as the 1.19 full update. So I hope you guys are having an awesome time with the 1.19 update so far, my friends. I really, really am. I actually went ahead very recently and found myself an ancient city in my Let's Play series. And it was a fun time. And I'm not looking forward to having to find one of those in this series, I have to say. <laughs> so before getting on with anything, my friends, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys this. Unbreaking 3 is the book that we have coming up next. And the reason we want Unbreaking 3 three is to put it on the diamond axe here and as a result we would have unbreaking on literally every piece of gear that we have here which is absolutely insane to say we have genuinely had overall really really good enchanting look in the series and i cannot complain one single bit about it so then on to the little farmland pen areas where are we going to put them i've absolutely no idea i was kind of thinking maybe we could have a room coming off of here. Maybe we sort of go down. Maybe we have like a doorway sort of here and we make it go down to a big old area where there's three pens. One for cows, one for pigs, and one for sheep. So you know what that means. It's time to grab out a bunch of dirt. It's time to grab out a bunch of cobblestone. And the time has come. We're going to dig ourselves out a brand new room. Alrighty, my friends. Well, we're making slow but steady progress with this little project here. And, well, things are looking well. The only thing is, over on this side here, we have rather bumped into our base area. So we're going to have to do a little bit of design jiggity pokery to try to... Uh, figure this out. What I was thinking was just putting down trapdoors. I mean, at the end of the day, trapdoors, they work an absolute treat for covering up evidence, right? So uh, maybe we try and do a little bit of that. I feel like that might be a good idea. Alternatively, of course, we could always go ahead and uh, put down some stairs. Uh, that actually kind of works decently, doesn't it? All right, and then over here, we could have trapdoors. Maybe we could just have like a whole wall of trapdoors. Uh, yeah? You know what? That actually makes this whole place feel more like a sort of inside underground barn. I kind of like that. All right, let's try and figure out the storage situation here, my friendos. I kind of figured maybe a combination of barrels and chests would be kind of nice. So maybe we have a chest for each of the meats. So let's say chicken meat, cow meat, and sheep meat, right? Okay, and then this side can maybe be for wool, feathers, and leather. Yeah, I think that'd be a good way to go, right? And yeah, it just makes this place look a bit more functional, doesn't it? Yeah, I really, really like this. <laughs> We're really starting to get them with this place. All we've got to do now is uh, dig out the remaining pens here. And we should just about have this project in the bag, my friends. And then comes the more interesting part of trying to get the animals in here. Right, I'm not the only one hearing a villager zombie, right? I'm definitely hearing a villager zombie. <laughs> oh, if we could go ahead and uh, try to secure it in a boat, 
we might have ourselves a good time in terms of getting ourselves our second villager, my friends. But anyways, my friends, in the meantime, I could show you guys that this is, in fact, ready to be populated. I think maybe the only thing I want to do is maybe uh, replace the dirt here with grass, just to add a little bit of uh, green to the area, right? So then, I'm making a judgment call here, my friends. The villager zombie sound was getting more and more distant, so that means to me, in my mind, that he's on the surface and not... Ah! And not in a cave. Uh, alright, there's a berry over there. There's... Oh, oh, that guy's got an enchanted bow. Uh, that guy needs to die, like, instantly. There you go. Go bye-byes. We need to find this guy, like, now. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Dude, this is supposed to be a chill episode! Oh, no, you don't. Spider? No! Who? This guy's wanting to go, is he? Oh! Okay, nope, I can hear the zombie villager. Okay, there's that guy. I think I'm about to get absolutely... No! 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 Oh, there's the zombie villager. Okay, right, run! There's a creeper here. Okay, yep, sure, do your thing. Right, are we... I think we're just about safe to get in our base now, guys. All right, we have a boat, okay? We have a boat. All we're gonna do is get this guy inside... See if we can't, like... There we have it. Okay. And then we pretty much do the same as we did before. There you go. Right. Get you to follow me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, zombie villager number two has been obtained. Ah, the only thing is we need spider eyes, guys. And I do not believe that we have any spider eyes. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. Uh, turns out... We may have to do some slightly dangerous stuff here, guys. Oh, big yikes. Right, I tell you what. If I was to go to sleep... Oh, wait. It is already daytime? Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, anyways. If we were to go ahead and uh, hunt for some spiders now... They should be docile, right? Until we wind up shooting them. No one's around here. Okay, good-o. A little bit of gunpowder for your boy. Very, very cool. No one's in the water. Okay, nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, right. Are we kind of safe? Okay, there's an enchanted boy over there. We need to make sure we don't get killed by no enchanted bows, okay? Big fat no-no. I tell you what, my friends, having the bow is an absolute game changer. To be able to take guys down at range is rather beautiful. Uh, we will go ahead and take down the berry bushes around here, since there's a few, apparently, according to the berries on the ground. I am not pricking myself to death. That would be a rather embarrassing way to go, if that wound up being the case, of course, which, thankfully, it doesn't seem to be the case. Why is it always when you're, like, actively looking for something, it never shows up? There really aren't any spiders around here, huh? I could have sworn I had a couple in my base. All right, we have a little bit of a cave entrance here. My base is there for reference. Uh, the question is, are there going to be any spiders down there? I don't know. And I feel a bit nervous about heading down here. Wow, no sign of any mobs at all. Man, why is it when I'm actually looking for mobs, they never show up? What the heck? Uh, okay, so while we're down here, might be a good idea to go ahead uh excuse me guys hello what's this all about oh this is our staircase oh i thought it was a dungeon <laughs> okay there's an enderman wait there is a spider there's two spiders <gasps> oh my goodness all right uh no one's about to drop down on me hopefully right okay i think we're good right hello hello spiders let's see no, 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 there's a spider eye. Wait, there's three spiders. What the heck, man? Why so many spiders? I mean, there's no sign of a dungeon around here, right? Huh. All right, well, uh, that's taken care of that. We have spider eyes now, guys. Yeah, and now that we're lighting up the caves around our base, maybe we won't always have 3,000 mob sounds happening around our base, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is an Enderman. Don't worry about it. He's pretty docile as long as I don't look at him, right? Uh, maybe we need to light up this area up here, though. Let's see if we can't get up here. Hopefully without dying. Let's have our shield out. Ready? Uh, no, I think we're totally fine. All right. Lighting it up. Yeah. All right. Very cool. I feel like my base is feeling a bit safer now. All right. Let's make sure there's no one around here. Uh, no. I, I think we're... 
good question mark if we go up the old staircase where we lured up the first zombie villager uh we should be able okay so there's the bookcases ha yeah we're back at base now folks <laughs> uh guys this is a really bad place for that zombie villager to be it's like it right in the middle of everything. <laughs> Whoops. I could have at least put him in a slightly more safe location, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, that didn't exactly work out, did it? I mean, if he even touches me, I'm probably dead. All right, so two pieces of sugar. All we need now is two brown mushrooms, and then we can cure that guy. And what do you know, my friends? There's a ton of brown mushrooms out here. <laughs> and this is without us even having to grow these into big mushrooms as well. Cool. All right, well, there we have it. We have fermented spider eyes. So all we need now is a few bits of sand so we can make ourselves some more bottles. And then we should be golden. All righty. Grab ourselves some water bottles. Chuck these bad boys in here. And there we have it. Fermented spider eye is going to be making a potion of weakness. So needless to say, what we'll do is we'll cure this guy. And then we will try to do the whole workstation lure in that we put down a Fletcher table, however you make those, and then the villagers should hopefully naturally gravitate towards it and then we could trap him rather similar to how we trapped the first one with the stone cutter, right? There we have it, one batch of splash potions of weakness, we might as well go ahead and make ourselves another batch since we have the resources to do so, and yeah, as a result we have the opportunity to cure at least six zombie villagers more if we manage to splash multiple villager zombies at once with one potion. I mean, the chances of that are pretty low considering the danger that comes with that. But still, we have the opportunity. We have at least six villagers we can cure. Oh, yeah, right. We don't have any regular apples. Uh, okay. Hey, look at that. Mangrove boat has been unlocked. Oh, snappers. <laughs> I wonder where our nearest mangrove biome would be in this world. I must admit, I've absolutely no idea. I don't even think we found a regular swamp in this world just yet. Anyway, it's time to chop down some oak trees, try and get ourselves some uh, saplings and bapples, and then we should be good. Also, there's pigs over here. I just saw one. Hello, how you doing? Eh, yeah, screw it. We're grabbing ourselves some birch logs as well, just so we can expand our building resources. I mean, why not? Oh my god, apple! Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh my god. They just froze on the spot. Uh huh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a pillager patrol. Um, you know what? Oh, oh God! No, no! Out of here! Go, go! No, <laughs> no, 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 no! We have the apples. We have the saplings. We have the ability to get more trees out of those saplings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not tangling with those guys. This was supposed to be a chill episode of me making some rudimentary animal farms. But no, there still has to be things that scare the living bejesus out of me. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and make some gold apples. Beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Time to cure our second villager. Hey, the sound of a villager being cured is one of the greatest things in Minecraft. Anyway, check it out, my friends. We need two bits of flint, then we can make ourselves a fletching table, and then we can get this guy where we need him to go. We need to get rid of the grindstone so it doesn't take that as his job site block. I've blocked off a whole bunch of the base here so he doesn't claim any other workstations. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's get ourselves a couple bits of flint, and then we should be good. Wait, I just realized something. We could totally just use our pickaxe here to be guaranteed flint. Oh my god. Why did I not figure that out in the last episode when I was, you know, wanting resources for arrows? Ah, oh, you know, I sometimes wonder if there's something genuinely wrong with me. Ah, why am I so dumb? All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's get your little table put in there. Let's do F3 and B, bring up the hitbox, uh, break the boat. And have you go ahead and hopefully claim your new workstation, right? Come on, buddy. Oh, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. No! <laughs> I thought you would naturally gravitate towards a workstation. What are you doing? Get back in, dude. Get back 
inside. Fine, I'll have to transport you then. But, mm. Oh, this guy's annoying me. This guy's very much annoying me. And now we're stuck because boats can't go up a half slab. Oh, my word. Go on, get in, get in, and blocked. Okay. Oh, I hate villagers so much sometimes. Come on, by sheer blind luck, he's in! Except what we need to do is swap positions a little bit here. Uh, in that I need to actually pick this back up. Uh, somehow. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to achieve this. Oh, I got it. Okay, good Oh, Right, then what we need to do is we need to put down some water. Uh, rather like, eh, rather like that, right? And then, uh, and he's just gone back to the same place. Oh, you suck, man. All right, go on. There you go. And then there you go. And then there you go. Ha ha! Brill! All right, that guy is now trapped. And we have ourselves a stick trade. Yeah. You know what they say, my friends. Where there's a will, there's a way. So then, question. When do we get an arrow trade? I must admit, I'm not, like, too well read up on Fletcher Villages. Can you get an arrow trade? Only if we can get an arrow trade straight off the rip, then of course I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why wouldn't I? So according to the wiki, yes, you can get arrow trades as your first one. So uh, if we were to get rid of your workstation, put it back down, it should sign all your trades, right? Yeah! There we have it! 16 arrows for one emerald. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good amount of sticks to trade, I would say. Very, very cool. Up oh, that there's some birch logs there. Even more sticks to be had. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a bunch of stickeroos. Uh, as far as I can remember, there's like a there's like a quick way of doing this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you press space and it sort of auto refills the thing here. So that's pretty darn useful. What have we got coming up next? There is a full bow trade. Nice. Check it out. Arrows. Oh, if we had this before, I would have been fine with not having infinity. But you know, when you have infinity available to you, when are you going to pass it up, eh? What I will do is I will buy one bow so we can go ahead at the very least and, uh, you know, repair our bow fully. So there we have it. A fully repaired bow with unbreaking three infinity. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Our trading chest is starting to get nicely populated now. So check it out, my friends. We can trade a whole bunch now. How about some more sticks for your boy, eh? There you are. Beautiful. Level 25. This guy should level up again. And would you look at that? We have crossbows available to us. So then, I guess we need to go ahead and uh, mine up some wood. And then we can carry on ranking that guy up. Goodness me, my friends. We now have over a stack of emeralds to our name. <laughs> I told you having two villagers would be the way to go, my friends. This is just brill. All right, well, if I was to go and buy a few of these... Then that guy should level up again to Emerald. And I'm breaking three punch one. Man, if there was power on that, I actually would have been so happy. Like, legit, power is what I need on this bad boy. Not punch. I mean, punch is kind of all right, but, you know, power would have been nice. So at this point, this guy is going to be leveling up very, very slow. Because the uh, stick trades are pretty much all we're doing here. And since it is only a first tier trade, it means that we don't get a lot of XP. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to rank this guy up to uh, the very, very tip top level. So we can get potion tipped arrow. But uh, no matter, I think the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, to just get our goal for today completed. So, potatoes for the piggies. We've got wheat for the cows and sheep. And we've got the seeds here for chickens. So, let's see if we can go find some animals and bring them back, eh? Hello, piggy. All right, well, there's one. Let's get some potatoes. Oh, God, it's that zombified piglin from before. It scared me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. All right, in you come into the house there, buddy. Oh, they're so stupid. They can't even figure out who's going to go inside the house first. Come on. And they're too fat to fit through the door. Okay, there you go. Ah, silly piggies. All right, so let's get you down here. And again, they still can't figure out who's going to be going first. You're trying to figure out who's the alpha male between you, huh? Come on! Hey! That was pretty painless, wasn't it? All right, so there you go. There you go. Do your little breedy, breedy thing. And there we have it. The parrots and the bats. 
<laughs> Alright, so that's one out of four breeding pairs, my friends. Let's go find ourselves sheep, cows, or chickens next. What the? Oh, hey! That's kind of cool. There is a dude here. What do you have? Uh, jungle saplings and pointed dripstone? Wow. This is actually some good stuff, man. Hey, buddy. All right, I'm going to buy all your jungle saplings, and I'm going to buy all your pointed dripstone. There we are. Pointed dripstone can be used to make, like, a lava farm kind of dealio. So if we ever want to venture on the dangerous side and have lava as a decorative thing for our base, then uh, we can. White tulips, purple dye. Eh, I'm not really too fussed about that. You know what? I really, really want the free leads that we have going on here, but I don't want to get spat to death. Maybe we could use sort of natural means to kill him, you know, maybe fire or something, and then, uh, yeah, maybe we can get some leads that way? Well, uh, buddy, I am now going to set you on fire. Uh-oh! No, don't spit at me! Don't spit at me! Don't do it! Don't do it! Uh... Right. They're not- they're not spitting at me, I don't think. Alright. Come on. Uh... 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 There you go! Right! That's it, that's it, that's it! Go on! Get killed there, buddy! Get killed! I want those leads, man! One more? Ah! Okay! Oh, I'm so scared. I never thought I'd be so scared of llamas in my entire life. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Uh, we're chill, yeah? We're chill. I didn't kill that guy. I didn't do nothing. It was environmental stuff that happened to that guy. Yeah, he just spontaneously combusted. That's what happened. Anyway, look at that. We got ourselves some leads. That is is a game changer. I'm so happy that we've got jungle saplings, my friends. That's actually really, really big because that means we can get ourselves vines and various other bits and bobs. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so back to our breeding animal pairs. We're looking for sheep. We're looking for cows. We're looking for chickens. What are we going to find first? We'll find out shortly, won't we? Ah, sheeples. I have spotted some sheeples. Go on, tell me these guys are too big to fit through as well. Yep, there we have it. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Come on, let's get you in your pen. There we are. Again, pretty painless. There you go. Breedy, breedy time. Lovely stuff. All right, that's two out of four. Halfway there. All right, we've got a chicken. There's a second one. We've got an egg -oo over here. Definitely take that. And uh, yeah, there we are. Three out of four. Let's get these guys back to base, eh? At least this time we are guaranteed to have chickens since they are chickens themselves and not eggs. All right, I know you guys will be able to come through. Yeah, there you go. Small and agile, my friendos. All right, so you guys will be going inside the little chicken pen down here. So, uh, yep, come on then. Down you come and we'll get your bread up as well. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Brill. There we have it. Yay! And I could also chuck a couple of eggs in here as well. Uh, of course, there's still nothing. We haven't had a single egg hatch into a chicken yet. What a load of balls. I can hear them. Aha! Hello there, fellas. All right, that is it. Our final animal breeding pair for our project today, my friends. Oh, this is brilliant. We're not even that far away from base as well. We've managed to find all of the quintessential animals in Minecraft pretty close by our base. And now that we do have all of these breeding pairs of animals, if we wanted to go ahead and upgrade the farms in the future, for example, making an automatic chicken cooker or making an auto cow farm or one of those little micro animal farms, then we can in the future, you know, because we've got the animals. <laughs> yeah. All right. Down you come and in you come. Come on. In you come. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have all four types of animal, well, basic animals anyway, pigs, cows, sheep, and chickens. We now have all of them in a breeding pen. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I can't believe we've actually done this. So to finish off the episode, my friends, we have 30 levels. So let's go ahead and get that Unbreaking 3 book, shall we? And there we have it. Unbreaking 3. A beautiful indeed. All right, let's go ahead and chuck it on the axe here. And that is it. We now have Unbreaking 3 on every single bit of gear, which means that this gear is going to last a good amount of time. So I think at this point, the only real thing I wouldn't mind trying to get now is 
power. If we could get power on our books here, that would be beautiful. Although saying that, Respiration 3, that is also a great way to go. Our helmet doesn't have respiration. So could be a good idea. But anyways, my friends, the question today was this. Could we go ahead and make ourselves some basic farms, do a little bit of base work, and survive 1.19 in general? The answer is a resounding yes. Although, to be honest with you, we haven't actually really done anything that sort of pertains to the 1.19 update. Not in today's episode, anyway. I just wanted to have a nice chill one where we got the farms done, we got the base work done. It just so happened that it was in the 1.19 update. So, there you go, my friends. The answer is still a resounding yes, okay? So, yeah. We still survived, and that's all that matters. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, of course, we're excited to see more. Do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future episodes here. But yeah, that'll wrap it up, my friends. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.